You're watching News Channel 18 at 6. News from where you live. Well, it's a project that has been years in the making, and now it is finally coming together. The Hoosier Heartland Corridor is in its final years of completion. For some, it brings hope of new growth, but for others, it brings concern. News Channel 18's Aaron Leedy begins part one of our in-depth investigation. Now, business on the bypass, and he's got more on the effects that that will have on businesses. Aaron? Good evening, Jeff and Gina. For one business owner along State Road 25, the thought of a new bypass has him worried his gas station will no longer be able to operate because of a decrease in traffic. He and his wife's sit-go station is their only source of income, leaving them to question their future. Amid the sights of excavators, dump trucks, and construction signs lies a freshly poured stretch of pavement connecting new bridges rising through the countryside. It's all part of the new Hoosier Heartland Industrial Corridor. The entire stretch, the 35-mile stretch of the Hoosier Heartland that spans from Lafayette to Logansport is scheduled to open for traffic uh, in November of 2013. The project is on schedule and on budget. Drivers will have a new option for travel, leaving the old two lanes of State Road 25 less desirable. Uh, it's definitely going to have a traffic impact. Dave Morrison and his wife have owned the Sitco gas station for more than 15 years in Americas. It's their only source of income, and he worries about the future. They expect two-thirds of the traffic to be off this road almost immediately. So that's going to really hurt the commuter business. For Morrison, being in the convenience store business is all about being convenient to his customers. It's not the gas that makes him money, it's what's inside his store. It's the time you pay all your fees and taxes, there's really no money to be had. Uh, if you make enough to pay a light bill a month, you, you've done okay, you know, some months. Uh, but uh, your store is what sustains you. Just down the road, David Beek is the owner of the Pizza King in Americas and has lived in the area for more than 30 years. A new bypass doesn't concern him too much since the majority of his business is local. Our business is uh, the local people around the area within about a seven mile radius. And of course we deliver to them, so that works out pretty good in that respect. Beek admits he was concerned about the Hoosier Heartland Corridor when the plan was first announced, but he says the decrease in traffic could be a good thing for the small towns along State Road 25. Our speed limit out here is 45 miles an hour. Uh, that never gets observed. <laughs> People that are going through here, you know, even the, the larger vehicles and so forth, don't slow down. Some of the customers at the Sitgo station are locals as well, but not as many as Pizza Kings. Dave Morrison says on a scale of 1 to 10, his concern is an 8. And hopefully it's enough to sustain us. So with, with that, you know, it's so I'm not a 10 yet. So we'll ride that 8 and see what happens. Now coming up tomorrow in part two of our series, our journey takes us north to Delphi. City leaders are hopeful for future development, but also have a plan in place to make sure the less traveled downtown won't be affected. Aaron Leedy, News Channel 18.